Hey, what's going on everybody? Jason here and welcome back to another Modern Warfare 3 guide. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to unlock the Reclaimer 18. The Reclaimer 18 is the shotgun that was just added to the game with Season 4 Reloaded. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump right into the guide. The first thing you have to do is make some progress on the Battle Pass. You need to have completed one of the sectors of the Battle Pass that is adjacent to the previously classified sector of the Season 4 Battle Pass. Once at least one of those sectors is completed, you can now access this sector of the battle pass. Just like the previous seasons, there are four challenges you have to do in order to unlock the fifth and final challenge to actually unlock the new weapon. And these four challenges are get 10 operator or special zombie kills with shotguns, get 10 operator or special zombie hip fire kills with shotguns, get five operator or special zombies kills while aiming down sights with shotguns, and get seven operator or special zombie tech stance kills with shotguns. And so once you complete those four challenges, you can move on to the fifth and final challenge challenge to unlock the Reclaimer 18. The final challenge being get 5 operator headshot or special zombie critical kills with shotguns. These challenges are pretty easy, especially since shotguns in this game are pretty good in my opinion, so I don't think you'll have a problem completing any of these challenges. Getting regular kills is just playing the game normally, hip fire kills are basically a shotgun specialty in Call of Duty, getting tax stance kills isn't that hard either, and aiming down sights kills is basically just playing the game normally again. And as for the headshot kills for the final challenge, headshot kills come pretty naturally when you play Call of Duty. Thankfully, you don't have to use a recommended shotgun when completing these challenges, so realistically, it doesn't matter which shotgun you use to complete the challenges. And I found that using the Jack Jawbreaker aftermarket part for the KV broadside was really helpful when going for the aim down sights kills. The Jack Jawbreaker is a really powerful aftermarket part that turns the KV broadside into a hard-hitting battle rifle. So I think that's something to keep in mind and maybe be something to use while doing these challenges. Since shotguns are a pretty close range weapon in Call of Duty, I would highly recommend that you play the small map mosh pit when you complete these challenges. The maps are smaller and the engagements will be at closer ranges than some of the regular maps in Modern Warfare 3. You get into the action a little bit quicker, so you'll be able to complete these challenges in no time. And honestly, it won't take you very long to complete these challenges at all. You'll probably only spend about one to two, maybe three games completing these challenges. Because like I said earlier, these challenges are really easy. And when you do complete each of the challenges, you'll get a notification on screen to let you know that you've completed that particular challenge. And so, once you complete the fifth and final challenge for this sector of the Season 4 Battle Pass, a notification will pop up on screen to let you know that you've unlocked the Reclaimer 18. Anyways guys, that's it for this Modern Warfare 3 guide. If you found this video to be comprehensive, straight to the point, and useful, leave a like and subscribe if you're a brand new viewer. And with that said, have a fantastic rest of your day or night, depending on where you are in this crazy world and I'll see you guys next time.